Ever since the birth of computers, we have been teaching machines how to think and resolve tasks. From the early days of computer science to today's deep learning and quantum computing, we have been programming and encouraging machines to understand the world and make decisions to solve problems. But here is the thing. Are we programming these AI systems, specially labeling the data and making assumptions and hypotheses considering multicultural values diversity, and inclusion. The importance of the human condition emerged in AI in the late 1990s when machine intelligence explored recommendation systems and the personalization of digital services. This AI began to create the first custom segmentations of internet users and to assume behaviors, creating algorithms that could predict outcomes and the evolution of consumer trends. AI began to classify humans and take assumptions on our lifestyles and who we are. I myself created one of such systems back in the year 2000. With my team of mathematicians and computer scientists, we created the first AI system for the early days of mobile internet services. And we knew that to offer information and entertainment to the masses on such a tiny screen, not only did we need to know what someone wanted, but why that we had to learn the contexts in which people make decisions, their generational and cultural approaches. Profiling customers online has achieved today an incredible level of sophistication thanks to AI, which allows companies to do it at scale, live, and 24 by 7, but is not completely accurate because it requires that we take into account data classifiers such as gender, culture, education, even religion. It is what digital marketeers and online retailers call the one-to-one personalization, digital product and services bespoke for you and me. It is why services such as Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and many others capture vast amounts of individual data in order to build profiles that are as close to a person's lifestyle as possible. It is not an easy task. As humanity is a kaleidoscope of personalities of individual markers, just like biological DNA. And the question here is how the AI systems that run their services decide what to offer people, on what basis their recommendations are generated, if their data is truthful, reliable, if it has integrity. Many of the blunders that happen in AI recommendation systems occur because people are put into generalized baskets. They are assumed to be from one race, gender, culture, or economic background, and are simply fed what the system finds it is most lucrative to their company's earnings. The reality of many AI systems is one of algorithmic discrimination, bias profiling, and abuse of customer trust. AI systems have fed people with misinformation, inappropriate content, and exploited their mental illnesses. But AI can help take cultural differences into consideration by ensuring that behavioral learning, a part of AI that develops customer profiles, is trained with data, assumptions, and hypotheses that value and give relevance to cultural differences. I led a project in Brazil that detected that a major coffee brand was not taking into consideration the local perception of what a limited edition of a product is. And so they could not understand why Brazilians hated their limited editions. What AI revealed was that in Brazilian culture, putting limits to someone's enjoyment is a classicist, excluding practice that creates an unfair world of the haves and the have-nots polarizing an already socially imbalanced Brazilian society. In the majority of AI systems being developed today, we use mathematics to achieve the results that we want by training algorithms. For example, we can train an image diagnosis system to detect tumors in radiology scans or cancer markers in blood samples. Imaging AI can deliver precision and very low margins for error that are superior to what a human eye can achieve. We can even train this system to predict outcomes, for example, to determine how the rheumatoid arthritis of a patient may evolve, and so 
be able to create specific therapies for this person. It is the one-to-one personalization of medical treatments. But how do we ensure that this AI system delivers correct and non-biased results? When it comes to unstructured data, such as images and video, most supervised learning approaches are reliant on patterns and annotations. This is because the data is based on the appearance of something in an image. That is, it has to be interpreted by a person, so attributes such as race and gender may end up being assumed wrongly and turned into racial stereotypes. Take, for example, Google Cloud Vision, which has been reported to be racially biased in their image labeling when an image of a dark-skinned individual holding a thermometer was interpreted by the system as to holding a gun, while a similar image with a light-skinned individual was labeled as holding an electronic device. And did you know that data bias is one of the biggest culprits of the misdiagnosing of women's diseases? AI fundamentally deals with data and how it is combined, labeled, normalized, and analyzed. Many clinical trials of drug therapies are presented to be appropriate for both men and women, and their instructions for dosage refers to the both of them as adults. But in fact, most pharmaceutical companies conduct drug clinical trials only tested on men, and this means that women are taking doses of a drug higher than what their body should. In AI, we describe this as bias amplification. If the data is biased, the outputs will be even more biased. But how do we bring cultural differences into AI programming and data labeling? In the areas where opinions and perceptions of reality require that we create all-encompassing assumptions. Can AI, for example, help diminish cancel culture? when an aggressive mob can decide on their targets based on randomly attributed opinions. Cancel culture is a product of the new social media enabled by AI. When start for targets, it even invents offenses where none exist. We need to make social platforms aware of the subtle and subjective complexity of human culture to prevent disharmony and ensure freedom of speech rather than trolling and abuse. Media and culture are channels and expressions of human perceptions and emotions. AI must be developed to guarantee freedom of expression, yet assure an all-encompassing mentality. And this will allow us to transfer our societal values to new environments of digital existence, for example, the metaverse. If AI is going to be put into society to be used by people to access services, apply for jobs, buy products online, and many other digital interactions, AI needs to guarantee that all the ways of being in society, all creative outputs, value systems, traditions, and beliefs are considered and protected. That AI systems encompass all views, all takes on reality, not just the one side of those who programmed it. Intercultural values have been exploited by companies involved in societal manipulation using AI, for example, in order to influence government elections and mislead voters, not just by feeding them with fake news, but selecting the profiles of people who would be more vulnerable to them and easier to influence due to their cultural values. We are moving towards a 21st century civilization that very strongly recognizes that the discrimination and unfair practices of the past should be gone. And we seek a future based on fairness and equity, embracing all and valuing all cultures, measuring society by what each individual can offer to the whole. The humans developing AI for job applications cannot build an AI system that continues to perpetuate the current failures of selecting candidates. Those failures that when, you know, people that went to elite universities and speak with upper class accents or by their looks. It is proven that most humans tend to hire those who look like them or belong to the same class. So if we intend to build a fairer society by using AI to become the arbiter, of fair selections, biased assumptions should not be embedded in such systems. To 
Today, AI requires a human-centric approach to its development. This means putting people at the center of everything that an AI system should deliver, not only to ensure that it is developed with cross-cultural understanding and clear benefits to society, but to achieve a fair, transparent, and explainable AI that we can trust. Thank you.